In my last video, I talked a little bit about my long struggle to find the perfect action cam. And in that particular video, I was looking at the GoPro Hero 8 Black because I often hear good things about GoPros. And that one had recently come down in price. I think they were selling for about $250. But as we found out, that model of camera has a bad habit of powering itself on and then wearing down your battery so you don't have a camera when the time arises that you actually need it because the battery's dead. What good is that? So I have once again jumped into the action camera market. This time I decided to go back toward the lower end of the market. I decided after my experience with that GoPro that the most valuable thing to me at this point is just having a camera that I can put on me somewhere and record content, even if that means sacrificing a little bit of image quality and not having all the stabilization. So coming to this sort of decision point in my head, I jumped on the computer and I went to Amazon, and what I found for this experiment is this little guy. This is the Boblov. Boblov. You've got to love the names that these Chinese companies give to their stuff. But basically the thing that attracted me to this little camera was, uh, well, first of all, its size. You know, it's about half the, the size of a GoPro. And it has a clip built in. It actually has two clips. There's one on the back, one on the front. So you can clip this on your shirt and just kind of have it sit in there. One of the other things that uh, immediately attracted me to this product was the fact that you basically turn it on with one switch. It comes on very quickly. There's very little boot up and then you're instantly recording. Some of the cameras out there, you have to push one button to power it on, and then you have to push another button to start recording. This little guy, I'm recording now. If I have any doubts about that, there's also a little light here. You can see that it's on, the light is right there. It's a built-in battery, but you can recharge it through this micro USB port. It lasts a pretty good amount of time. I think it's about two hours that they are claiming. So it'll be interesting to see how long it actually lasts. But then when I'm done and I want to stop recording and turn the camera off, done. Put it in my pocket and go. So it's easy to power on and start recording. It has a long lasting battery and it's really easy right away to mount it with these two clips. So this could be the action camera that I've been looking for all of my life. So let's go ahead and take this Bob Love, get some sample footage out in the wild, and see if this is worth your time, worth my time, worth anybody's time, or if this is just another cheap piece of junk, like most of the no-name items that are on Amazon at this moment. Is this product worth your time? Let's find out. Let's test this camera out by going to one of my favorite stores, Goodwill. Right away, I noticed that this camera is difficult to keep level. In fact, this entire test is going to be skewed a little bit to the left. The other thing I notice is the amount of distortion on the lens. It gives it this, this fisheye look, which is both good and bad because, I mean, you can see a lot of what's going on in this situation, but it gets a little bit annoying. And since there's no stabilization going on in this camera, it all sort of works together to make me a little bit dizzy watching this footage. Oh, hey. All right, so we've seen the sample footage. 
Is this the action camera that I have been waiting for my entire life? No. Am I going to keep it? Well, yeah, I think I'll keep it. Obviously, from our test footage, I need to learn how to make sure this thing is sitting exactly upright, otherwise our image is tilted the whole time. And if I'm wearing a jacket, I need to make sure it's not coming in and cutting off half the image. And of course, the microphone rubs against what you're wearing, so I don't know, maybe I'll play with that and see if there's a way to get rid of that noise, that huge fisheye lens distortion. Uh, in some situations, it's a little bit entertaining, but then in other situations, it makes me sick watching it. So would I recommend that you purchase this product? Not really. I mean, it's better than nothing. For the price, it works, but if you don't have any camera like this right now, sure, go ahead and spend the 40 bucks so that at least you hopefully can capture some event out in the wild that you can share with us here on YouTube. Otherwise, mm, I don't know. Unfortunately, I am going to continue my never-ending search for the perfect action camera. That said, I would like to hear what you think of this camera, what you thought of the test footage, and, you know, is it something that you would buy? Or maybe you've bought it already. Either way, go ahead and leave a comment below. Okay, that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up whether you like it or not. And I'll just be sitting here, continuing my search, and wondering what exactly I'm doing with my life. Why do I even bother anymore?